Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Us by David Nichols. Um, this book I gave two and a half stars on Goodreads. Um, I used to say to people that David Nichols was my favourite author of all times. Um, I just I absolutely fell in love with his book one day. Um, I don't want to get too much into it right now, but um, that book just really resonated with me and it will always be one of my absolute favourite books. I think it's right here, so um, it's just it's such a special book to me. And then, so you know, I was really excited to get back into um, David Nichols' world of heartbreaking beauty. Um, I just find his work absolutely captivating. Um, but this one sadly just didn't have that effect on me this time. It basically flits between the present and the past tense and it follows the lives of Douglas and Connie Peterson. Um, the protagonist is a guy called Douglas, uh, he's in his 50s and one day his wife turns over to him in bed and basically just says I think I'm going to leave you, I'm not happy anymore. Um, so with Douglas feels like his marriage is falling apart and his son Albie, who's 17, um, is about to go off to photographic school. Um, so he decides, okay, uh, one last chance to salvage their family. He's going to take them on a grand tour around Europe to go and visit all the art museums and, and um, galleries to see the history of, you know, all the beautiful... You, freaking birds. I'm sorry, I made me lose my train of thought. Um, uh, they go on a tour around Europe, um, but as their trip starts, uh, nothing goes according to plan. But does it ever? As much as this book is about a failing marriage and that it's busy crumbling apart, it is also um, very largely based around the relationship between a father and son and just fatherhood in general. Um, and the one thing I can say I did like about this book is that it was very real. Um, everything that happens in it could definitely, definitely happen to each and every single one of us. Um, there's nothing sugar-coated or overplayed, um, nothing that you couldn't picture ever happening. Um, it's very real, very raw, and actually very scary. It actually, to be honest, it made me even more nervous about marriage than I already am. So, um, thanks, David. I feel like this book had a very depressing demeanour to it. Um, it's just that on a number of occasions I caught myself close to tears. Um, it's just, it's really sad and dreary and drab, if I'm very honest. It's, it felt like there was a proverbial weight just bringing this book down the whole time and um, when it could have actually been quite fun um, with the whole travelling around Europe and seeing all this beautiful art and culture um, but even that just seemed really lifeless and dull uh, yeah not one of the characters were likeable Douglas is this really nerdy biochemist who studies fruit flies riveting stuff um, and his wife, Connie, um, she's this really creative, selfish cow artist um, who just treats him really badly. And to be honest, like, I wish that Douglas would just grow a pair of balls and get rid of her because she really doesn't treat him nicely and neither does their son, Douglas. And although I could relate to Douglas, um, there's Douglas there and there's little bitch wife, um, although I could relate to, um, to Albie, the son, on um, quite a big level, um, it just, not one of the characters appealed to me. They were, they, was, they were all just, just dreary. They really were. I mean, Douglas needed to really just up and leave. Um, I was surprised he hadn't, um, and that it went the other way around, and that his wife now suddenly wanted to leave him. And, um, yeah, I just found Albie to be really obnoxious and nasty and just, like, unnecessarily mean to his father and holding on to things from the past that he could have really just sorted out um, and been an adult about. Um, so, yeah, the characters didn't do it for me either. So, yeah, um, I do think that this book was well written. Um, it is David Nichols, after all, so it was definitely, it definitely had his, um, his good writing in it. Um, but as for the storyline, I really didn't like it, and um, 
I didn't like the characters, I just didn't like this book and that really disappoints me because I really honestly thought that uh, David Nichols was one of my favourite authors and now I'm really starting to um, second guess that, which is sad. Um, yeah, hopefully his next book that I read will be better. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you next Monday. Bye!